and today I'm going to change it up on my channel today. I'm going to get a little bit more personal um, on this channel. Just, you know, because I did upload my, I, what is it called? I have to be honest or something. And it's basically who I am and where I came from. I still have part two and three to upload. It's just they're really long and I just want to make sure they're perfect and um, they're edited really good so you guys will like them. But this has been not just from me, but I've noticed this from a lot of people in my age range. Um, so I don't really talk about it. I just always want to keep a positive set, like a positive mind. Ooh positive mindset so people can see that like you can have a happy life you can have a happy um, way of living and I guess like I don't want to perceive people wrong but I talk to my friends a lot I tell them like how I'm feeling all the time and if I'm feeling down if I'm feeling like okay or if I'm feeling happy you know but I don't tell you guys um, you only see one side of me that's whatever I put up on here and lately I've been dealing with for the past I want to say two years two years since I've moved down here um I don't know when it started but it must have been when I was with my ex because we went through a lot together I mean I was with the same person for eight years and when you're with someone for so long like things just build up and things just happen you know um I have like really bad anxiety and I didn't notice I had it until I was separated from him and um, when I was with him there were times where I had to watch what I said watch what I did um, I was always on edge I was always thinking like of my next move like what if I did this how will he react so I've always have that mindset now, even though I live down here and I have people that I trust and I have people I love and support me, I'm always thinking that way because I can't trust people in a normal way anymore. Like my trust, like if someone says one wrong thing, I, I literally break it down in my head and like, okay, now I don't know if I can trust him with this, this, this and that. So my anxiety just goes crazy because I'm like, oh my God. Should I still continue to talk to this person or not? Um, so it's just like a whole bunch of things. And I do have really bad moments where um, I've only told two of my friends this. And like I don't like to say this. I don't like to think it. It just happens. Like my anxiety gets so bad that... Um, I don't, I don't like to say it. I literally don't like to say it because I don't see myself as depressed. Like, depression does run in my family, but I don't see myself as depressed. But I've had moments where I just sat in my car. I did not go home at all. And I just remember just sitting there and saying, I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be alive how will I get rid of myself how will I kill myself and would anybody even care like at all so I've I've contemplated it like a few times when I've been down here I mean my life is not perfect I'm not perfect in any way shape or form but I just get so bad anxiety like to the point where I'm just I feel nothing and everything at the same time and I've had numerous panic attacks I've had anxiety like where I'm crying my eyes out and I'm like I can't handle this anymore and the one thing that just pops up in my head is like why should I just keep going why should I still keep trying to live this life if I'm not happy if no one else is happy if even anybody even wants me around you know like I do have my family back home my mom and my sister but you know I do have other family down here as well and I've met them recently and I love them but it's just this, the simple fact is that like I have not lived an easy life and you can ask any of my friends like I work so hard for what I want for what I need 
for anyone who comes into my life. I always try to put others before myself and I think it shows. Like my friends, I care about my friends so much. They're like my family because I never grew up with a family but my anxiety is just so bad and I think I've geared away from making YouTube, like even making YouTube videos nowadays. Like. I have maybe a total of like five or six videos that I have to edit and when I come home or when I'm home and I have nothing to do I get super anxious super anxious and I'm like I know I have to do this why can't I get myself to do it and it frustrates me so bad and I'm trying to keep a positive mind I'm trying to keep like I can do this I can survive I am positive I got this and I think I'm going back into that phase of me being real anxious and stuff and um, now Abby's leaving and I'm not blaming her for any of this. I mean Abby's like my one of my best friends. She's my rock. She's like family to me. Her family's my family and she's made living down here even easier. Um, I've always had her by my side. She would tell me like it is. Like she's blunt. I love her and I have Ian. Ian is. Ian. <laughs> He's always there for me as I am for him and Melissa's always super positive. You know, like I have those people in my life and I have other friends that aren't here and I do reach out to them but it is hard when they're not here. But I don't know where I'm going with this but I just, I'm trying guys to be super positive. I'm trying to be not in a bad mindset, you know. I, I'm trying to help not only myself, but I want to help others that like go through the same thing as me. Like if you ever felt like killing yourself or you just feel anxious and, and down or sad or anything, like I'm the type of person that you can message at three in the morning. I'll most likely be up because I can't fall asleep. But I'm the type of person that will message if you have a problem. I've done it. I've I've had friends that said they weren't in that right mindset and they've come to me and they've talked to me about it. So I, I this is not me trying to get attention about it because I don't want attention about it like because then that will make me anxious about it. But I just wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from because I don't upload as frequent as I used to. Um, you know, things happen for a reason. I mean, my ex abused me. I moved down here, new area, no family, all by myself. Um, I started a new job at one of the biggest companies and I'll have to have a, that's another separate situation right now. Um, and I do need change. I do need, um, another outlook on life, you know, like that's all I can say right now. And I'm gonna be moving soon you know that happens and I hopefully I have a new job too oh I didn't tell you that I have a new job as well so I am trying to get my life back on track I'm trying to make really good choices I'm trying to be positive about my life and I'm only 28 and I've lived this long I've lived down here for two years by myself and I've done it I've done it as, a, as best as I could but um, things are looking up but if you guys have ever felt anxious or any type of way that I have felt just like me I mean comment down below snapchat me Instagram me email me anything like Twitter I have to Twitter too guys I don't really tweet that much but I you know but I just wanted to talk about it because um, I've seen a few YouTubers talk about it and they're around my age and I was like I can't just keep like being a closed door. I gotta open my door up for you guys so then you know I'm a person too and yeah. So this video is getting really long. If you guys want more personal videos like this make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.